Why can I not smell anything and my nose is not blocked? Give them legs a stretch. Here for lockdown basically means it's a lockdown, but it's not. Face mask? Ooh. I don't know if I'm wearing it right, but this looks comfy. My hair's oily, but that's just the reality of life right now, okay? everyone, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So, yes, I've been away for so long, and it feels so good to just sit down and film for you guys. Um, it's been so long, like, it's so unlike me. You guys know it, I post regularly, consistently, for years now and I haven't posted in like two weeks which is not a big deal but I was basically as you can tell from the title I tested positive for covid and it was I'm not gonna lie it wasn't fun it was not fun but for this video I thought I'd just talk a bit about what happened and then do a little bit of a, like a PR unboxing because I know you guys wanted to see that and I also got a little secret Santa that I did with some friends, so I'll probably open that in this video. Today's post notification shout out is going to go to Tanya Gons. So thank you so much for the sweet comment and for subscribing. I really appreciate it, guys. And if you want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. Um, I'm doing this video super chilled because, honestly, I just finished work quite late and I just want to just be bear for this video which i think we need more of these days you know i'm also going to try and incorporate these quotes that my sister got me a few years back and these are from gift republic i always get asked but i just didn't know but it says it's from giftrepublic.com so if you want to get one of these for someone for christmas this would be really perfect what's she doing you crazy girl oh yeah let's pick out a card especially during these times guys i feel like maybe one of these can lift somebody's spirits up oh this one is so good they're really basic quotes today's one says no one is perfect that's why pencils have erasers my little brother was going to school and he basically tested positive but he was asymptomatic the reason why we got him tested though is because we my mom is clinic clinically extremely vulnerable because of her breathing and her asthma she has really bad asthma it's like a type of asthma um so obviously like our mum was our number one priority to make sure that she doesn't get it right so he tested positive and then i need to be around my mum a lot and my sister does too so we got tested and we came out negative so we were taking all the precautions that we needed to um just stay in our rooms and make sure my brother was in his room we were giving him his food and everything um and when we was getting towards hit the end of his isolation period um, and hours because if you live with someone that tests positive you need to isolate yourself as well um, and it was like 14 days at the time which is so long but we got close to it and then me and my husband got sick we got sick and we kind of knew like okay this is it, this is it we got it because he start he had a fever for like four days straight like 40 degrees like if it went any higher, I would have definitely called like 111 or like the ambulance or something. But yeah, it was just like a fever. I didn't really get a fever. I, I had it for a couple of days, um, but not like my husband did. For me, it was mostly like just feeling really weak, coughing a lot and just breathe. My lungs just felt so weird and I'm, I was always out of breath. Um, but it was mostly like just not being able to move and just muscles hurting everywhere. It's basically like having a flu, but a bit, like, different. And it's so weird because me, my husband, and my two brothers all tested positive, And we all reacted differently and had different symptoms at different times. So, I don't know, never did I ever think that me, like, oh, like, it would have, like, I would have reacted like that. I'd, I was just like, okay, it doesn't matter, I'm young, like, I'm healthy, it's not going to do much to me. And I know a lot of people, like, think it's all fake and stuff, but it's not. As soon as we felt sick, we knew we had it. We knew. And the thing that annoyed me the most, guys... Someone please tell me why I can't taste my food. Why can I not smell anything and my nose is not blocked? I work from home and I couldn't even look, I couldn't even sit on my chair and just work on my computer. Like, I had no energy whatsoever. And um, my taste has now come back and it's been, like, over a week now, which I'm really happy about. Um, I'm not going to lie, my brother's not feeling too well. I have, like, two brothers. The older one is not feeling too good. My husband is, like, getting there, but he's, he's lost his taste and smell and, like, I don't know when that's going to come back. 
I feel like the taste and the smell is it's not the biggest thing but it's frustrating because eating just becomes a chore it just becomes a chore because you're just eating to eat like you can't taste anything so yeah I lost a bit of weight from not literally just not eating I'm not gonna lie the whole situation sucked because I feel like for the past almost a month we've been in isolation not being able to go out so I might go for a walk later because I just it's just even for me who's a home person i i've had enough so today yes it was my last day of isolation so i'm filming today in the living room but i'm still gonna stay away from my mum and pray to god that she don't get it um until now she hasn't she's been well so i feel like we've i feel like we've been taking the right precautions and just wiping down everything using different toilets yeah so i'm not gonna lie it's stressful it's so stressful especially during this time and I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll go like do a bit of shopping or go like, I don't know, to High Street or something. And everything is closed because we're in tier four. Tier four lockdown basically means it's a lockdown, but it's not. To be honest, the, the way our government has handled this whole situation is just mind boggling. I feel like we should have just been in lockdown since since for a while because the fact that we went out of lockdown, everyone went crazy and things have freaking spiked up again and we also got a new variant of the the virus so we're basically in a tier 4 lockdown which is kind of like a lockdown until the 26th but then from the 26th we're going to be in a full lockdown mode for six weeks which I think is needed but it sucks. It really really sucks. It's like it's just like we're in this big prison and this this bigger thing is giving us instructions on how to live our lives and i don't know suicide rates are high i know a lot of people are going through a lot especially mentally not being able to be with their families i do have a video on how i deal with my anxiety which i'll link below all i can say even though it's easier said than done is to try and keep a positive mindset because if you don't then what is there like i know it's not easy but it's you've only got yourself and yourself is going to be there for you okay so i find vlogs are really helping and like disney films i watched all the harry potter films when i was just like stuck in bed oh so yeah that's what's happened to me the past few weeks and honestly i was really down i was really down but i'm gonna keep moving forward you know have a fresh mindset talk to your friends and family because that really does help so let's jump on to the pr unboxing shall we the first thing i got is this box from ex1 cosmetics who with whom i've worked with for ages now and they sent me a little card Ooh. wishing you an amazing christmas and a very happy new year and bye 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 2020 so they gave me a skin tone face mask oh I don't know if I'm wearing it right but this looks comfy that's cool it feels really nice too I got a foundation in the shade 11 the Invisiwear foundation which is my shade and they sent me a little mistletoe might put that on the Christmas tree actually there you go it's in the back somewhere so yeah, that's what I have from EX1. Thank you so much, guys. My hair's oily, but that's just the reality of life right now, okay? Okay, what have we got in here then? Ooh. What's this? Delighted to introduce you to the Hourglass Highly Anticipated 2020 Holiday Collection. I'm going to try and put some bits that I don't want in a giveaway for you guys. Because this is all built up because I've just been in my room for like a month got a refillable lipstick set We've got an ambient lighting mini but their powders are so lush so yeah i'm definitely going to keep this for one of you guys i'm going to put it inside for the box thank you so much hourglass i definitely love this palette but i've already got a full size which i need to use more of oh guys i'm so excited about this package we got the new fenty beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundations. So I've got dry skin and I, I never really wear powder foundation, but I'm really looking forward to this because Befenty rarely disappoints me. Um, so I have a few shades here. I will definitely do a review on this. I'll try and do this ASAP, but I'm really excited about this. Like, I love Fenty stuff. Oh, 
that's cool. Britain's number one mascara brand. I love Maybelline mascaras. My favorite, favorite mascara, like drugstore mascara, is by far the Lash Sensational, which is this one right here. But they've sent me this one. I already have this one. So again, this is already going to go into a giveaway for you guys. But I actually might keep the tattoo um, gel pencil. What have we got here? Oh, I was so surprised by this because I rarely get um, Primark bits. But they sent me their uh, uh, Hydrate After Mask and their Cleanse After Mask. Excited to try these. I need to do a mask to be honest because I need some self-care. <gasps> Ooh, I love trying new mascaras. But Revolution have sent me the 5D Lash Mascara. Okay, from 1D to 5D, lengthens, lifts, defines, stretches, and volumizes. Vegan and cruelty free. I love their packaging, but this is what the new mascara looks like. Definitely really excited to try this, guys. Oh my god, I don't even know where to move on. I've got some more bits from Revolution, which I think was sent to me a while back to me, but I just haven't had the time to open any of these. Oh my god, I hate opening like boxes. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I love the colors. I might keep that for my next video. That looks so, so pretty. Okay, this is definitely going to my to try pile. We've got some other bits in here. We've got a moisturizing face mask. I might try this tonight, actually. Luminous body glow. We've got a luminous fixing mist. And this is going to recycling. I also got so much stuff from Revolution Skincare. They literally spoil me. So thank you so much guys. They sent me some stuff from their glycolic and also their retinol heroes range. When I've tried the other skincare that they've sent me, I'm not too fond of their scents and that's like a big thing for me. But actually this is not bad. It's just not really got a scent. It comes in this cute little packaging, a unique pump. So yeah, I'm definitely going to keep that. But yeah, I've got so many cleansers, polishers. I might need to use this because I haven't, like, exfoliated my skin in a while. We've got some eye cream. Yeah, I get so excited about skincare, but they've sent me all of this. So I'm really excited to try that. And if anything does stand out to me, you'll definitely hear from me. Give them legs a stretch. Oh my god, I forgot to mention another thing that really like bugged me when I was when I was COVID positive was my lower back was killing me. It was pulling so much. I don't know if it was because of my because I was COVID positive or because I was just in bed all day. But it sucked. I also got this really really cute package from ColourPop and they sent me some lashes. I can't wait to try these. This would make this would make such a nice gift. And then they sent me this set, which honestly looks like I literally just want to like use every single shade in here. It's so pretty. They're all these like super shock shadows, which I absolutely love from ColourPop. They're so pretty. It just comes in a set. Like if you know anyone that likes glittery shadows focus you know anyone that likes glittery shadows then this is it and they also sent me their avocado kind of set some glosses another set here from 4th ray i do really like 4th ray oh i also have this from nars this is like their christmas lips uncensored on the left uncensored lipstick set i might keep it for like an instagram reels or something to try out but the colors look really nice i feel like they'll be a bit light for me but you know you can always make it work with some lip liner but i've never really tried nars lipsticks so i'm really looking forward to that oh so we've got some hello kitty bits here i don't know what the palette looks like Let's have a look that's fun i see myself creating a look with these colors Thank you so much Colourpop. Honestly, I love when I get stuff from them because they have such nice bits. We also got like a gloss set. This is actually something I bought, but I actually got the Viev uh, Modern Matte Lipstick in the shade... In the shade Coming In Hot. And then the lip Modern Lip Definer in the shade Bark. I'm going to keep these for like a reel, but I've been dying to try this. I bought this before I got sick, so I need to try this ASAP because I've only seen good things. 
I also got a bunch of Laura Mercier goodies. They sent me their powder, which I already gave to my sister because she, she really wanted one and I have a full pot anyways. But um, I got their Face Illuminator, Pure Canvas Primer, which I'm really excited to try. Laura Mercier Longwear Lip Liner, Naked, which looks like a brown. And then a red lipstick. Oh my God, I can create so many looks with these. And I've never tried these, so I'm really looking forward to it. And I've got a powder puff here too. So thank you so much, Laura Mercier. You guys will see these in action, by the way. Got another box. Ooh, they sent me a hand and nail cream, which I actually need. This is from this is from Thrive Cosmetics. I don't know why I'm so itchy right now. They sent me their hand and nail cream. Ooh, she thick. Oh, she smells nice as well. Oh my god, this is it smells like citrusy and like clementines and oranges, which is like one of my favourite scents in skincare. Oh my god, I love the way that feels. This is exactly what I've been needing because I've been oh my god, I've been like disinfecting my hands like a mofo, okay? Nyx also spoiled me with a bunch of gift sets which I might keep for you guys. Um so make sure to follow me on Instagram. I might do some giveaways on there. Um so we've got like the diamonds and ice lip set i feel like one of you i have most of these colors so i'm definitely going to keep one of this i'm definitely going to keep this for one of you guys for sure guys there's going to be a lot in this giveaway um so i'll write the giveaway rules in the info box if you want to win a bunch of makeup so i've got a palette here as well oh highlighting palette might keep this for myself but yeah oh last thing we got my secret santa bits such a light-hearted thing like that just lifts your spirits up. Where are my scissors gone? Please. Ooh, what's this? Looks like a candle. Oh, it smells like fresh clothes. I don't have a candle like this actually, but this is really nice. Ooh. Oh, I really love that. Up to 35 hours. Cute. Thank you to the person who got this for me. Also a second one. I'm gonna have to clean all this up as well. <gasps> this is like the best thing anyone could ever get me. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh my god, I'm just gonna demolish these. Thank you so much to the person that got that for me. I really appreciate it. And honestly, chocolate is like the best thing like anyone could get for me because I just absolutely love it. The goal is to eat the chocolate, not to lock them up in this bulletproof case that you can't open. It's always like that with Ferrero Rocher boxes, but... I feel really spoiled. I definitely want to give back to you guys. I've got chocolate everywhere in my mouth now. So yeah, definitely check out the info box for giveaway details because I want to treat you guys and I honestly do not need all of this makeup. I've got most of it already. Yeah, and thank you so much for just sticking around even when I'm sick and watching my videos. I'm sending you guys so, so much love. Thank you for watching this video. And yes, your girl is back en route. She's alive. I'm just happy to be alive at this point, to be honest. And yeah, I, f I hope you found my COVID story interesting. Let me know what videos you want to see from me. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.